right on time. Go to old Civic Center. Put on your seatbelt, folks. <laughs> Y'all don't trust Jerome's driving. Don't you do that. Don't, don't do that for the cameras. Don't do that. Don't do that. For me, I started off in Austin. My agent told me like that the Cavaliers had like a lot of interest in me. And uh, he called me and asked me what I was doing. He was like, I need you to do something for me tomorrow. And I was like, what is that? I need you to go to Cleveland and sign your two-way contract. Oh, man. And I was like, I was, I was silent for like 10 seconds. I was like, Andy, like, stop playing with me, bro. Like, <laughs> like, are you serious? He was like, yeah. But, like, he explained everything to me. Uh, obviously, it was, a, it was a dream come true. I mean, when I first got to the facility and sat down with Kobe and all that, I couldn't stop smiling. Uh, it's funny, I was signing the contract and I, and I got messed up like three times. So you had to like print off three different, three different contracts. Cause I signed where Kobe's name was supposed to be. Uh, but no, it, it's, a, yeah, it's, a, it's a dream come true. Like, it's, honestly, <laughs> it's been great. I was with the Raptors and I saw like automatically I looked out like the other two way guys and at one point I saw JB was starting. I was like, oh man. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, he's definitely getting the opportunity. So it was like, once that happened, it was like, and then my agent was like, you know, you go to Cleveland, they let you know that you're going to play, you're going to play. And it's been great. If you really look at like a lot of NBA rosters, like you don't realize how many guys have had like G League experience. Like it's, it's crazy. And like the numbers go up every year. It shows that, you know, the opportunity is there. You just have to go out there and take, the, take advantage of it. If you go to the G League and like have that mindset of like, oh, I'm getting sent down, you know, this, that. If you have that mindset, then you're going to be in the G League for a while. You have to be overseas. Yeah. Like, that's how it really is. But if you go in there like, all right, I'm getting an opportunity to play. You know, I'm playing basketball, a game that I love, and I got to show people that I'm improving constantly every game. That's when you really get, like, that's when you really get an opportunity. Everybody wants to go in and just score, and but you forget to do the little stuff. Like, the, the stuff that you can do, it, like, because obviously when you get converted and you go to the NBA, like, you are not going to take those shots. Right, like, I, and I tell people, have, like... You have to find a way to, like, be effective. Like, I, yeah, I tell, I tell people all the time, right. like, the, the NBA teams aren't looking for a guy in the G League to come up and average 20. Yeah. They want guys to come up and compliment the guys they have, whether that's, like, rebounding, defending, or make, just making an open shot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't, they don't right. need a 20-point scorer to come score and, in, and in the And there is guys that average 25 in the G League right now, and they've been playing in the G League the whole year. How do you get enough sleep? Just make sure you're eating the it's, right it's, it's really, really hard. It's really hard. Like, even, like... Like, I'm super tired right now. Yeah. Like, oh, my God, I can imagine. Yeah, like, I, I'm tired about it. That was just not the game last night. When I woke, I woke up at, like, 2 a.m. last night, and I was honestly, I was like, should I just text coach and be like, oh, I can't make a shoot, shoot around tomorrow. Like, I'm that. <laughs> so, like, he, he understands. Like, I had a conversation with coach, RG Lee coach, uh, the other day in practice. He was like, if you're ever, like, really, really tired, like, and you need a day off, just let me know. Like, I, like I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to say no. Like, I understand that it's hard. He was like, how is this whole two-way thing? And I was like, honestly, like, it's, it's, it's tough. Like, tough. it is. Like, like, I play a lot of minutes for Cleveland. I play a lot of minutes down here and, like, all the travel. Like, I don't have that much time to recover and sleep. And and for us, focus. we don't see it. We don't never see days off. Like, yeah. when you look on your schedule and it says off, you're like, what? Here we are. Yeah. I know. We're yeah. out here as a the entire <laughs> car ride. So we got good stories. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here safely with JB. <laughs> JB's driving, you know. <laughs> Do a couple of suspect turns. We got here safe. The cameras aren't broken. <laughs> the cameras aren't broken. Yeah, the microphones are fine. <laughs> yep. Good old Ken.